Hello, welcome to my channel, FIFA Turtles Club. And today I have another video for you guys, um, part two of career mode. And I want to go over um, a few things as far as building our team, how to start out uh, building our team um, so we can make it successful. And the way that we'll do that is based off the um, Youth Academy. We're going to um, get scouts and we're going to um, send them out to find future stars for us. Uh, we're going to also uh, train those players and um, develop them into really, really good soccer players. And um, so that's going to be our main game plan for this career mode. So uh, to get started, so to find the scouts, and that's the first thing that you will have to do. I have already hired two, but uh, I will show you here. So I'm in the career mode menu, and uh, where you have to go is uh, right here. So it's office, and then at the bottom we have youth staff. And if you um, scroll with your right analog, you would go to Youth Academy. But let's start a Youth Staff. We're going to hit there and um, as you can see, I already have two scouts and I have already set up a, a scouting network. But um, I, I have an available spot here and this is what I want to look at um, as far as hiring a scout. So you go X right there you will have your options right here at the moment we don't have any five star um, scouts that we can really hire I mean this guy uh, Killian Hintermeyer I don't know uh, he has five stars of judgment right there and four stars of um, experience so three million seven hundred seventy thousand dollars it's uh, it's an amount that you might not have to begin with um, because if we're doing the fourth division teams they're gonna have a low budget it depends if you're using um, a more developed team or one of the top teams in the world then of course you might have the funds to just get good uh, scouts right off the bat but uh, what I did also and like I mentioned in the previous video we use the financial takeover option from the catalog you can use that and as you can see I have 25 um, million dollars about um, that I can use to um, you know for the budget so I have the budget at that amount uh, thanks to the financial takeover so I would certainly recommend that and then we can start getting some uh, scouts so I'm just gonna go ahead and hire this guy I know it's not five stars I mean you can try to you know hire someone and then fire them and see if it updates to five stars it can be a waste of money so if you don't have the funds don't play with it too much um, yeah so I'll try this one just to see if we have any luck but um, it's gonna be a waste of money you know okay so we just keep getting we are not getting lucky on this. You can keep back, you know, keep keep checking back, I'm sorry. Um, like you log out of the game, then come back in and check this to see if there are any five stars. But four stars of experience, experience. Um, so when you set up the scouting network, and I'll show you in a moment, but uh, well, let's just hire him. So there he is hired. Now we're gonna set up a scouting network where we need to select uh, where to send him. Now I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Portugal for this one. So you want to select a country that um, you know typically at the top of of um, the national teams. Uh, Portugal has Cristiano Ronaldo, obviously, and um, so because he is a, a star, it's possible that we'll get some star quality players out of uh, Portugal. So what you do uh, here is select the duration of your scouting um, in this region. So I'm going to go for nine months just because I like it to be that way for the whole season. You can choose, um, but I like doing the nine months. Uh, it's going to cost a little bit more, but we uh, have the budget right now. And then type is where you select what sort of player are you looking for. Are you looking for a 
um, an attacker, a defender, goalkeeper, you can select that there. Um, to have a more general thing, you can do technically gifted. They might give you positions, uh, different positions, but they're going to be like pretty good at the specific set of skills that you require for those or that you need for those. Winger, obviously, we all know that what that means. Physically strong is a really good one too, especially if you're looking for midfielders, and um, you know, you will get players that are don't fall easily, and um, they're players that uh, will be able to win a lot of uh, balls in the air and stuff like that. So it's really good um, to do physically strong as well, in in my opinion. Playmaker. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. You might get a really fancy player on midfield, um, so that might be good. Uh, goalkeeper, uh, this is good, although you're going to get a lot of results of goalkeepers. And in my opinion, goalkeepers are very, very uh, easy to develop, uh, or it's probably the easiest position to develop. Because there are only three types of trainings, and uh, they're highly effective if you do the hard one. I'll go over that uh, later on. But yeah, um goalkeepers are easy to develop but if you need a goalkeeper this is the place to start if you're gonna do goalkeeping thing I would set it to like three months six months maybe that's the, that's the scenario in which I would do that uh, just because you're only gonna get goalkeepers you're gonna have way too many and uh, you only need maybe a couple so you know just something to keep in mind although it's up to you um, obviously attacker you're gonna get forwards like that um, check your board expectations um, I had uh, an expectation in which they were asking me to sign um, a forward an attacker from the youth academy so that's a perfect way to do it so you can get results for um, forwards but um, you can also do defensive minded so that's mostly for defenders also um, defensive midfielders and uh, they're typically strong very good defensive skills obviously so that's a great thing if you do any you they can find whatever thing one I guess you can do that it doesn't matter but uh, I typically like doing technically gifted so for but for this one yeah for this one I'm just gonna go technically gifted as well I, I like it so if you look at the stars for the the scout at the top you can see experience is four stars judgment is five stars so experience four stars is the quality of players that they will find so um, typically it's better for it to have a high experience thing I guess four is decent it's not the best though five stars is definitely the, the way to go then um, judgment what it does is how effective is this scout at finding the players or the type of players that you're sending out so is he going to be good at finding technically gifted players well he is a five star so um, you bet he's going to find um, you know good players that uh, are technically gifted specifically so that's what the star system means for the scouts fairly simple so we have this set up and uh, basically now we just wait until um, the scouts say hey there is a uh, report uh, so look at, at these players and then you can select if you want to keep them or um, send them to the youth academy or not so that's something you can you can do uh, now this is my youth uh, academy right now I have three players that I cannot sign but this is where you will see them so if you go from the main menu um, instead of going to so office instead of going to youth staff you move over to youth academy that's where you can view them um, the potential and the skills that they have already so this is just a quick step of how to hire a scout and how to um, you know set up the scouting network what the star system means and stuff so I hope this was helpful if you have any questions please leave them on the comments um, below and uh, if you like this video and are enjoying the content please like and subscribe and that would be very appreciated um, so that's it guys thank you so much for watching hope you have a great rest of your day then